Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. Little damage from corruption invasions last night, but two LARPCO simulated fantasy combat events to tell you about tonight. First up, former founding house Primordus Virtue responds to the instigators who have started doing things in Weaver's Fen. The instigators immediately increased medicinal insurance for incidents in Weaver's Fen, prioritizing their arcane repository for upgrading. The instigators' efficiency of citizen care does not appear to be incidental to their home brewing practices, but rather in addition to, and they seem to be content sheltering in place, having performed kitchen upgrades as well. And now the Ebenscale Tourism Council would like to say a special word. Hey listen, we know it's been tough. It's been harsh on us too. Who could have imagined two more weeks of the harshest winter in a turnip's history? But local onsen operators want you to know, regardless of faction, you are always welcome here to the healing hot springs of Ebenscale. The medicinal healing hot springs of Ebenscale can soothe all your aches and pains. Whether you need a deep massaging hot spring shower or a soothing plunge into their wisping with steam, open bath ponds scented with lavender. Overnight accommodations are available at the Scenic Inn, which overlooks the entire city and has a view of the island. Extended accommodations for those regarded as HMFIC are available at a premium for those seeking a more isolated experience. So come on by the healing hot springs of Ebenscale after the war, invasion, outpost rush, or expedition, or any time in between, and soothe your aches and pains away. In the second fight of the night, Ashoku Geki and Reekwater, as the forces of Vendetta, bear down on the Iron Chefs of Elysian. Elysian forces continue to allow for open tryouts as aspiring Iron Chef continue to defend the coastal fishing town. And how will the challengers of Vendetta fare when the secret ingredient is revealed? We'll have the outcomes and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.